I'll try to get the frame here. Um, we've got a used engine going in our F-150. We uh, went to Westminster just up the road from Hogwaller and got a Got this 300 straight six that come out of an 85 Bronco. Here's some tips if you're buying a used engine. Um, bring your breaker bar, bring your wrench, bring you something, anything you can get on that crank pulley. I should have done this when I was there and not after I got home, but you want to go, you know, a whole 360 degree revolution. And, and this one feels pretty good. And it should be resistant. I feel the compression in it. I don't feel any tight spots, so that's exciting. I can feel pretty good about that. Also, you want to look for other things. I'm going to bring you in here, show you some other things to look for. Um, other things you want to look for is signs of someone been messing with it. And I did notice back here, I was going to put a rear main in it, and then I started looking, and I said, up oh, right here so there's a wear sleeve been put on it so someone's put a rear main in it and this wear sleeve so if i'm gonna do a rear main i need to get another wear sleeve to put on that crank so that's just something to look for always if you can get to it while you got it out knock a rear main in it because you don't know how long that was going to last or if that's been dry rotted also i noticed if you start looking in here some of the emission plugs they're right in here. They've been deleted, I noticed that. So that's that's a good thing. When I see stuff like that, that emission stuff gone, that means someone else has been in here, could have been rebuilt at some point, because usually people don't do that unless they you know, have the motor out. So those are plugged off. So that's a good thing. I like that. Still has an EGR pipe on it. We're gonna get rid of that. But yeah, this is our, our 300 straight six. We did a little compression test on this yesterday and cylinder one, two, and three have low compression. One has no compression. So, and the guy told me he thought the motor was wore out. So I was hoping to get lucky, but I'm not. We're going to put a whole engine in it. So hopefully by the end of the week, we'll be spinning some tires, but just something to keep, keep on the lookout. If you buy an engine, you know, look out for those, those things like, uh, what's been done to it, has someone messed with it, have some seals been changed. So hopefully we'll get lucky and we can just knock a, a new wear sleeve and a rear main seal and have this old 300 running again.